All right, guys, let me just tell you what happened. I'm on day four of my Illinois hunt, and this stand that uh, you may have seen me hunt a couple afternoons just hasn't been very productive because the deer are coming down this trail and getting into this clover field, and they're gone. And if if I'm not in the right on the right trail, they'll get by me. But anyway, this morning, I figured I would get them coming out of the clover field and they would have to use this one trail that I'm on. But anyway, uh, as you're about to see, um, I had two bucks come in right after daylight and one of them had a really nice rack on his left side, but he was broke off on the right side. So I opted to pass him up even though that left side looked good and you'll see in the video. And then there was a smaller buck behind him it looked like about a four, maybe a small six point. I decided that I would try to take him since, you know, his rack was symmetrical. And even though he was small, he'd been a trophy for me. But as you'll see uh, in the video, this deer, the bigger deer, as he got around me, he looked up at me. And man, you talking about. Man, he had me all shook up because I'm watching him and I'm watching that small deer. And I just knew he was about to bust and take off and then take the little one with him. But anyway, uh, I let him get by. And as he got up, I don't know, about 25, 30 yards from me, this one, the smaller deer, started walking into my shooting lane. And by then, I'm all shook up and nervous and I'm looking at the camera, looking at, trying to make sure he's in film, and, and long story short, I rushed the shot, and looks like I, I hit him a little far back, so uh, he took off running, and I thought I heard a crash out there, but I don't think, I think it was just him running through brush, but I'm going to get down and see if I can locate some, some blood, and and uh, see what we got. And I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, come go with me as we try to trail this deer up and see what we have. So I'll give you an update. So sit tight, guys. Thank you. If you'll notice, the larger buck, the right side of his rack is broke off. I decided to let the bigger buck pass since he only had half a rack. You notice the bigger buck sees me. Now I'm getting nervous.
right, guys, here's the arrow. Looks like it's broke off. Broke off at the base of the fletching. Huh. All right. Let's see if we can. Oh, I tell you, I'm not too confident in finding this deer, but like I said, it looked like it's a little far back, maybe a flesh wound, but the arrow looks like it had to have a, had to be in the deer pretty solid to break off at the base of the fletching. Well, anyway, let's keep on looking. Well, guys, let me tell you what happened. You saw the video where I found the fletching part of the arrow. Well, from there, I found very little blood. So when I got back to the cabin, I reviewed the footage, and it looks like to me it was just a poorly executed shot. Looks like a flesh wound, and nobody's fault but mine, and but I guess that's part of traditional bow hunting, and I guess I broke under pressure, didn't I? But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and always acknowledge him in all your ways, and he'll make straight your path. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon on another video.